great lineup, and our next presenter is absolutely no exception. Uh, you may have seen her on Fox News, Fox Business Network, RT America, Cheddar TV, or CBS News. She is, she is an expert stock market analyst and the founder and owner of an international educational company where she teaches people how to successfully trade the stock market. Uh, her trading methodology is based on one strategy called Golden Gaps, which pinpoints institutional money in the stock market. Here to present Trade on the Side of Power Money is Melissa Armo of Stock Swoosh. Welcome back to Traders Corner, Melissa. Hey, can you hear me? Hello, can you hear me? I can. Maybe our audience can answer a few things and, and also say that they hear and see your presentation. Thank you so much, Melissa. Thank you for having me. I think I have till 1245. Is that correct, Anthony? Yeah, that is correct. Thank you so much, Melissa. Wonderful. Great to be here today with you, everyone. It is a gorgeous day here in New York City. Happy Halloween. And I am here to talk to you today about what I do and trading. We had a big trade today in Microsoft. We shorted Microsoft as a day trade. We did a put in Microsoft. And for those of you that don't know what I do, I trade gaps and I also focus on shorting. And guess what? You could have shorted the market today. Market fell today. Some beautiful shorts today in the market. So we're gonna talk about earning a living trading, which of course I do. And I've been trading now since 2008. I also appear on TV, as Anthony mentioned, and I've been on, uh, on TV actually for about 10 years now too. If you have questions, you can email me at Melissa at thestockswish.com. You can call me at 929-3200-GAP. You can also follow me on, I have Twitter in here, but it's really X now at the Stock Swish, Facebook, YouTube, and Skype. So here's our stats. You're today in the training room. I have to update this through the last two weeks. Again, we did Microsoft today, which is a really nice one. <coughs> Yesterday we did AMD. This is only through the 10th, though. Um, and again, great results for the year. Over 700000 for the year with an average risk of around $3,500 per trade. The newsletter, this is a newsletter if you want to do options with me. I do risk more money. I risk around an average of 8000 per trade on my newsletters. We're open. Uh, we're o up over $2.6 for the year. So really, really, really good year. And again, very interesting because the market is bullish. The market is still bullish. And the reality is we're going into an election period. It's earnings season. There's lots of opportunity. It's going to be a wild, wild month to trade. And I'm really looking forward to it. We've been capitalizing on the volatility the entire year. But really, we've seen this just since the start of earnings season. So year to date, this is only through, like I said, October 10th. We're up over $3.3 million for the year. Now, I get this question a lot. What size account do you need? If you have a day trade account, you need a margin account. If you want to do options, you can do options and you can open up an options account with as little as $2,000. For example, you could have bought one put, one contract in Microsoft today. We did the 415 put, so you could have just bought one. So again, you don't have to trade a lot of size in the market. You can do a small size, a beginner size. So anyways, like I said, the United States election is days and days and days away, okay? And I can't even believe it, it's less than a week. <laughs> so we're gonna have a lot of exciting trades probably between now and Tuesday. And we could even in the next week, all right? Apple has earnings out tonight and there's so much to look at. But the fact is you can make money in the market and you can even earn a living in the market if you know what to trade and you know the direction to trade it. So when I started trading, I realized very, very quickly that the key to success was to get good, to get really, really good at one thing. So it is about becoming an expert. An expert, And for me, it's not just about gaps, but like I said, I'm also an expert in shorting, okay? So I'm mostly short. So days like today are just fabulous for me to trade because there's so much opportunity. And again, one of the big trades we're gonna talk about um, that I have in here, I don't even have the updated chart in here, but you could take a look at it yourself, is IBM. That is like the gap of the month for us for the puts that we did in that and the day trades we did in that. You can pull up that chart. I have the chart from last week in here we're gonna look at. It's about finding the right direction and it's about finding the right pick. So in order to become as successful in the market, you have to become a specialist, a specialist in one specific strategy, a strategy that reads institutional money. So again, institutional money is key. So again, what happened in Microsoft today? It's getting dumped, okay? It's falling, it's selling off. And when I say institutional money, I mean power money in the market. This brings momentum and opportunity. 
So every trader and every level must learn the skill set. And how do you get the skill set? It's required with education, okay? It's like if you said, well, I want to be a doctor. <laughs> you know, you're not going to go just get hired and start, you know, operating on people. You need to learn what to do. Trading is no different. I have no idea why people think they can trade the market and make money without learning what to do. It's one of these things with trading that I guess when people start out, they just think they can just take ideas and just kind of figure it out on their own. And then people lose. And it's no wonder they lose because the fact is they don't know what to do. Again, this isn't rocket science. It's something that you can figure out if you learn a good system and method. But for me, it's really about the consistency, okay? Particularly if you want to earn a living trading. So number one, you need a winning strategy. Got to learn first. Number two, you need a supportive mentor. Do and follow. Like I called the trades today, okay? Doing and following that support that I give in the live trading room is essential. And then number three, become an expert in one thing, okay? For me, it's, again, the strategy and gaps. You get good, you implement the strategy, and then you add size, and that's how you can make a lot of money, okay? So if anybody has any questions, you can plop it in the room, and I'll see as we are going along here today. <laughs> so again, like I was saying, how do you make money in the market? You got to find the right pick. You have to be able to predict the direction before the move happens. Like if you wanted to short Microsoft now, it's the trade's already gone, okay? So again, I am looking in the pre-market, trying to figure out what to do way, way before the open, okay? I'm not in the trade before the open. I'm figuring out if I want to do it before the open. And I'm determining who is in control. There's somebody always in control. The bulls or the bears, okay? So again, you're looking for the control to be able to determine the direction. You have to get the direction right to win. If you get the direction wrong, you lose. That's it. If you get the direction wrong, you lose. It's really not that hard. People say, oh, this is so hard. No, you're not getting the direction right if you're losing. If you're down for the year 2024, if you're down for this month, it's the last calendar day for October. If you're down for the month of October trading, then you didn't get the direction right in your trades, okay? So again, I'm trying to break it down for everybody to assess it and understand. But number one, you need a winning strategy. Mine is golden gaps. What is a gap? A stock gap from the opening price today is different than the closing price of yesterday's trading. A gap is a break in price action from one day to the next. Simple. Okay, so here's BA. Stock closed up here at 4 o'clock. Snug as a bug. This was back here August. All right. Over 170. Gap down here. A little bit above 165 fell so you could have shorted this or you could have bought a put okay depends how you want to trade it again my methodology looks at the gap ranks the gap to determine that this in fact is going to fall how you trade it whether you buy a put or whether you short it is totally 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 up to you okay but again like i said it's predicting the direction if you went long BA on that day, for example, you lost money. If you shorted it, you made money and you made a lot of money too. Again, similar to Microsoft today or the market, okay? So what is a golden gap? A golden gap is a gap that ranged 20 points or more per the golden gap 26 point rating system. You can take the trade in the direction of the gap. You can do the trade as a day trade or an option, like I said, you can do it either one. So it's really about deciding to do it, and then first you rate it, decide to do it, and then you decide how you're taking it, and then you do it, okay? And again, it's one of these things that's so, so interesting because if you don't have a focus, if you're all over the place, you're not going to be consistent with your profits. You could take one good trade and then lose in the next five. You don't want to do that, okay? You can't have too many, too many drawdowns or you're not gonna last. And you need to focus on, like I said, minus gaps and short. Now here's IBM. This was so insane. Uh, I called the 220 puts. The date was the 24th here. You could still be in that train. You could be in, the expires tomorrow. You could have got out today. <clears throat> this morning was like a 203 and change. You could still even be in it and you'd still be up so much money. And you could hold it to tomorrow, which I don't normally recommend holding to the last day, but you actually, this will never go anywhere negative by tomorrow. Stock close here, gap down. It was a great call. So again, what is a gap? What is a gap? 
A gap is a difference between the close and the open. So I get up and I see the IBM. This didn't happen yet. The genius in my system is that I'm going to predict that this is going to do this. And it did. So you can take the trade and get in it and hold it. Get out quick. Do it again. Hold it. Do whatever you want. Okay. So I am buying the put and selling it when I'm exiting it. Or I'm buying a call and selling it when I get out of it if I'm going long. Okay. Now here was the Microsoft we did today. Really nice trade. Stock closed here, gapped down, open, fell. Again, gorgeous trade. We bought the two, the 415 puts, and again, we did a day trade in this. So again, a day trade, you need a margin account. Both worked. It's however it works out for you as far as the type of account that you have, but the, the system is that you learn the 26 points and you go through the checklist and you rate the gap. And again, if it rates 20 points or more, you can take it in the direction of the gap. So the reigning system helps me determine who is in control. Otherwise, how do you know whether to go long or short? You're at the mercy of the market. Again, for example, today, the market gapped down and fell. But it, there's many days the market gaps down and rallies. There's many days the market gaps up and falls. Okay. So you really, really, really have to be so focused on what to do. People talk about gap fills. Gap fills do not work consistently to make money. That's wrong. And you also can't buy every gap up and short every gap down. That's wrong too. You have to look for the good ones. Gaps happen in the market on a regular basis. However, some gaps are better than others. Some gaps are nothing gaps, and some gaps are very powerful displays of institutional money. The most important gaps of the market are gaps that signify a change in direction or what could be a much bigger move in the same direction, which is great too. Understanding which gaps are meaningful and which gaps are not meaningful in the market will help you to know what to do and when a change is occurring. That is how you know when the power of money will flow to pay you. So you really got to read the footprints of institutional money. It's, it's so critical because if you're against institutional money, you're going to lose. If you're with it, you're going to win. And it's easy to win if you're with it. Again, Microsoft today is such a great example. IBM, such a great example of being on the right side. If you learn how to read the footprints of big position players before the momentum occurs, you can take the position in the right direction and then get out after the move happens for profit. Again, you are just taking it with it, whatever size you want to take, small, medium, or large, okay? And you get out with the momentum. It's momentum trading. But you have to understand how to trade with the side of power and you need to know how to find it, okay? Any questions here so far? So knowing how to read what institutional money looks like is essential to becoming a successful trader and you went big trading on the side of power. Now we were talking about Boeing. This was another one that we did a bunch of trades in too. Again, you could have done this here. This was a couple of weeks ago. Stock close here, gap down, fell, boom. Again, BA was a short or you could have bought a put. We talked about the IBM. IBM is now here. So whatever day I printed this chart out, I don't even remember. The stock's here now. This isn't a current chart of this. Oh, I printed it out. It looks like I did it in the morning on Monday, the 28th. No, it was in the middle of the afternoon. I, 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 this was less than two hours before the close Monday. The stock is here. And I predicted it would go there. And we did trades. Again, that is what you want to do. You, that's the kind of big moves you want. That's how you can take a small account with two, three, four, five thousand dollars and grow it. So again, becoming a successful trader and investor requires becoming a specialist. I'm a specialist. I'm very good at reading price action. I'm good at reading gaps, shorts, and I'm defining where the institutions are buying or selling a stock. Learning advanced technical analysis required. So it's technical analysis. So you got to have charts. You got to have live price data, and again, it's advanced technical analysis. So that's what I mean. I mean, I'm reading the price action in the charts. Comprehending how to read, define, and trade with this power will have a huge positive impact on your profitability as a trader. Elevate yourself, your trading, your profits to a higher level of consistency and success by learning how to read the footprints of institutions trading in the market. Uh, this, this was a trade that we did back early uh, October. We did NVIDIA. So we, I do do calls. You know, sometimes I'll do a call. I did a call in NVIDIA here. Cost was 250, which which I think is inexpensive. But again, you could have done one contract was 250 dollars, and sold it 260 percent return investment. Sold it at nine. Here was the chart. Did it on the third. 
Again, the 125s here. Rallying, boom. Again, stock was getting bought. So again, if you're in a call, you want to rally and you exit into the momentum, okay? And again, if you had a risk of $1,000, you could have made $2,600 here. This is a good trade. This is a good trade. You could have had $5,000 in an account, risked this and made $2,600. And then you made 25% on your account like that. So again, it's not about doing a million trades. It's about honing it down, like hitting a bullseye and getting the right thing. This was such a good put. We did the snow. This was back in August, but it's just a really nice chart here. This cost 350, 100% return investment. We did on the 22nd. It was the snow. We did the 120 stock close here, gap down, open, rally, dropped. Take it over. I just want to show you where this went. This fell all the way down in here, broke 115. Nice sell off. Again, we did a put in that and we did a short. Okay. Or a day trade, I should say. Any questions about gaps or shorts while I'm talking here? Or anything I'm saying? So again, you get conviction by understanding. You need conviction to make money. You get the conviction and get the understanding when you understand why. And even when people say, well, I don't need to know why. Trust me, you're trading, you're putting your own money at risk. You're deciding where to get in and where to get out. If you understand why, you will hold IBM. You will do the Microsoft. You will hold it down. You will trade better. You will be able to take more risk. You will do the right thing. You will focus. So many people are all over the place for their trading and they really don't have conviction in anything they're doing. That's the only way you're going to make money is if you understand and have conviction. So where do you get the conviction? 26 point checklist. That's where you get it. This is what gives me the conviction. This is what I teach in the class. And when you think about it, it totally makes sense. You're like, okay, I'm following institutional money. I get it. That makes sense. It's common sense. Much of this is common sense, but it's really, again, technical analysis with the gap. Gaps are the most powerful show price action in a chart. Gaps have large moves. Gaps can move up or down. Some of the biggest momentum moves in a daily chart come from a gap. And when I trade, I'm looking for and trading momentum. Then whether you have a small size or a large size, you will get a good risk to reward. It's, it's not about the fundamentals for me. I mean, again, if this stuff helps you, you know, if you have a bias for the election and you're like, well, I think this is going to happen, this is going to happen, people are betting the election, I don't, I don't, I look at the price. That tells me right away. That tells me right now what's going on. All these other things are opinions. Okay, I go on TV and give my opinion, but my opinion I, I use based on my technical analysis. Lots of times people are making trades, you know, like Kramer, his television show, and he looks and reads the fundamentals and makes trades. That's not day trading. That's not active trading. That's not short-term options. I'm doing short-term options that expire in a week. I'm momentum trading. I want to make money right now today, today, tomorrow, every day next week. Okay, not six months from now, not a year from now. This isn't long term investing, even though you could actually take some of these trades for long term, the way that I read the direction, some of these things. But for for what we do in the room and the letter, it is short term trades. So a big flow of money going in a certain direction is what moves the market stocks, creates momentum and sets the trend in charts. When you're looking for institutional money, you're really reading the side of power in a stock. You want to be on the side of power in order for you to make money trading. Institutional money is in charge of the market and stocks at all times. And even if you think it's not, trust me, it is. That is the amazing thing. Okay? Any questions here so far? If not, I'm going to keep going. So number two, you need a supportive mentor. I talked about this. Do and follow. Like I called the trade today in the room. You do it where I say to do it. And you get out. Okay? And here, I put, I put in here two weeks of trades in the room. This is an average risk of about $3,500 per trade. We made over 54000 This was the last week of September. I should put the whole month, actually. If I get time next week, I'll put the whole month on YouTube and do a video of October since today's last day of October. But we did on the 30th, we did BA. Then we took a stop the next day on the, ten, uh, the 1st of October. Then we did Apple. That was a big trade. That was a short. Apple's tonight. Then we did two trades in Tesla, one lost, one stopped. Then we had a big one. Then we did NVIDIA. Then we did Amazon. And then it was off in the seventh. NVIDIA, we did BA. And we did two BAs. So here's all the trades. Again, 80% win ratio. Good stats. Again, I do use a stop. Okay, so I will shop out if the trade stops out. It's a limit order. 
It was a BA. Uh, we talked about this one a couple of different times. This was the day we did the BA here, 930. Stock closed here, gap down, fell. Look at the extension, look at the bar. See the gap. Again, this was a short. Again, you can take, you could buy a put. Don't want to do a margin trade in this. You could have bought a put. So people are doing that in the room. Then we did this again. Actually, we did this again. I took a stop here. That was in the first. That trade was up, but I didn't get out of it. Took a stop. Then I did Apple. Huge, fell, dropped, closed here, gap down, sold off. Again, rate the gap. And again, I'm calling these trades in the room. 10-2 was Tesla. This one again was up too, and I didn't get out. I was doing it, messing around with the other one. But this closed here, gap down, dropped. I just didn't get out of it. I was messing around with the other uh, option that I was in. And then I redid the Tesla. And then Tesla ended up going later in the day down. And again, that was on the second. And then on the third, we actually did NVIDIA, which was a long. And again, sometimes I will go long. So here was the NVIDIA. Boop, went up. That was a long. And you could have bought calls. And then we did Amazon. This was on the fourth. This was long too, actually. Stock closed here, gapped up. Then we went long. This day here was October 4th. That was a gap up. I was off on the seventh. Then we, we did NVIDIA again. I've been watching this, watching this, watching this. This is the end of earnings season for NVIDIA. So this doesn't report to the end, I think, towards the end of November. Got a like, couple of weeks to go for this. Bought it at 130, exit at 131.15. Again, a dollar or more out. A dollar out. Here was this move here, up, rally, boom. That, again, you could have bought a call. And then we did BA on the 9th, fell, closed here, gap down. Beautiful one, big one again. Two, I'm looking for a dollar. If I can get $2 or $3, that's great. But I'm, I'm trying to get a dollar. Trying to pull a dollar out of most of the things we do. And then we did it again. This one here was on the 10th. So again, chunk it out, chunk it out, chunk it out. You take the trade out. I only do one trade a day. One trade a day, maybe two if I take a stop in the first thing, but that also helps me stay consistent. So I'm chunking it out every day in the live room, trying to find the best trade to do every single day that I can make money. And as soon as I do, then I'm done. Again, I'm not in trades forever and ever and ever. And if I hold a trade, I'm holding the option. Again, a lot easier to hold something like IBM as an option than it is to hold a day trade for six and a half hours a day. And, and even with options, you have to be aware of the expiration date, okay? But with my day trades, I am all about working smarter, not harder. You know what I'm done here today? It's Halloween. It's New York City. There's a parade tonight. It's a gorgeous day. I'm done. I'm done for the day after this webinar today. If, if I didn't have this webinar, I would have been in Central Park, you know, right now as we're talking. This is a great career if you learn what to do. You can make money in the morning, the first half hour of the day, hour of the day at the most and be done. You have to learn what to do and you have to be very precise with doing it. And so many people are just not motivated to learn. I found in teaching people in the 13 years I've had the business that so many people are just not motivated enough to learn. And I'm telling you that it will make the biggest difference. And yes, it's great to have a mentor to follow somebody to help you understand it. But learning is really, really key. And we were talking about this today, and again, today's just a great day to talk about it because of the fact that the market is selling off. But shorting, shorts happen faster than longs. Again, we sometimes go long. I showed you some longs, but a stock will sell off faster than it ever will rally. It's just the nature of the beast, okay? Panic comes in when a stock sells off. There's no panic going on when something's rallying, okay? So again, what happens tonight with Apple? What happens tomorrow? The market could 100% reverse in the next 24 hours based on what Apple does on earnings. Because if Apple is up on earnings, the market will be up. And so, I mean, it's one of these things where, you know, it seems like the market's panicking today, but really it's mostly, mostly, mostly Microsoft and Meta because they both had earnings last night is a reason for the market sell off today. But it could reverse like that on Apple tonight. So if you have something like a move after the election, I don't even know if we're going to find out who, who won Tuesday night or Wednesday morning, but you could see some type of gap the day after the election. Again, what gap it will be, will it be up or down? Will it rate good? I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna watch it because you could see panic after the election. You can actually see panic into going into the election, actually. You could even see that on Monday. But again, I like to short because the moves to the downside happen faster than moves to the upside. And I don't wanna sit and trade all day. 
I want to go out and enjoy my life. If someone said to you, you can make $5,000 in five minutes or $5,000 in six and a half hours, I'd rather take five minutes, okay? And that's just one example. Any questions here at all? How's everyone doing? Good? Okay, let's talk about number three. Become an expert in one thing and you just focus on it and do it and that's it. And again, if you get up in the morning and you don't see anything that meets your criteria, you don't train. And that happens some days. So again, that's where you stay focused on what to do. It really, really, really is about the consistency because if you want to have longevity in this and if you want to do this particularly to pay your bills and do it as a career, you have to have longevity. You got to use stops. You have to be consistent with your risks. You have to stay on top of your strategy. You have to have a strategy. Buying or shorting resistance or support or different moving averages or indicators is not a strategy. People want to follow Fibonacci's and all these things. That's not a strategy. There's no one program you're ever going to buy where you can stick it in a computer and it's going to make good decisions for you. You are the best person to make decisions about your trades. You are the best person to make decisions about your money and your finance. And I use my emotions when I trade to help me trade and do well. IBM is a great example of that. And again, that's what I'm talking about when I say conviction. Conviction, confidence, or it sets you off as somebody said, no, I'm not going to do that. That's not good today, or whatever the case may be. Or no, that's not setting up, or I don't like that today, or I don't like the market, or whatever. Again, trying to deny who you are as a human being, which you are a human being and you have emotions, is wrong. It's inherently wrong, and you will fail if you constantly try to do that. Many times people are up and down with their discipline and blaming themselves, so it's really that they don't have a good strategy. It's really, really just as simple as that. So let's talk about the cornerstone of success in the market. One of the cornerstones to everlasting trading success is consistency. Without that, it's just hard to stay in the market for any length of time. In order to be consistent, a person needs proper focus on what counts. For me, I focus on stocks that are being moved or controlled by institutional money. How do I determine that? Again, I rate the gap. So if you come and you want to learn from me, how are you going to know what stock to trade each day? Number one, you're going to rate it before you get in the room in the morning. Then you log into the room. The room opens at 9 a.m. Cutoff time to be there is 9.20. And you verify, say, oh, I rated Microsoft. It was good. Melissa likes it too. Boom. Now I know that's the one today. And then I call the trade and you take it. And again, whether you want to do an option or a day trade, it's totally up to you. It depends on the type of account that you have. You can open up prop accounts for margin accounts that uh, don't require the 25,000 minimum. So you can go prop. I know if that's something you want to look into, you can email me about it. Or like I said, you can open up a cash account. You know, 2,000 is the minimum to do options. But it's all about finding, finding the power of money. Here was another one. This was actually a really good one too. A Tesla, stock close here, gapped up. This had earnings, this was hard to believe. It seems like a long time ago, but that was actually Friday. So you could have bought a call, in tests are you could have gone long this is a good example really of institutional money and the power the power of institutional money so it's it's once you understand what to do it's not that difficult it's just learning it and then staying focused so i find gaps and then rate them using a checklist if you come and take my classes what you're going to learn from me gaps have to be qualified you can't just do gap fills you can't do the same thing like that, it would be too easy to trade. That's just wrong when people say that to me. I say that doesn't work. It doesn't mean one every 5,000 trades works. It means it has to work most of the time. Again, I just showed you two weeks of stats for 80% win ratio. That's what you need. You can't have that many losers or you're never going to make it or you're going to be refunding your account all the time. The checklist tells you what to look for in the price of the stock. So there's only one thing and one thing only that can move the direction of a stock and it's money. And it's not a little bit of money, it's a lot of money, or what I call power money. Power money is in charge. Power money is in charge of the stock's direction. Trends are set and moved by the power money people. And guess what? Which there's a lot of in the market. There's a lot of them in the market. The amazing thing is, as negative as traders and analysts talk about the power money people, they're the reason that one individual can be successful in the market. So if, if there was an institution of money or power money in the market, then I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to see the gap and predict it before it goes. So the fact that there is these big position players in the market 
is really what helps me to be able to make the money that I'm making, get the move in IBM. No amount of retail traders could take IBM down $20. So again, it's the institutions. That's where you want to be with. That's where you want to follow. Okay. Any questions from anyone? How's everyone doing? But it, it is, again, focusing on the right information and the most valuable information for people to trade really can be found in reading price action and gaps. Understanding chart reading of gaps and how important the patterns of price are in the market will assist you in being profitable. Reading power of money when it sets up will help give you conviction to your trade. And that is critical. Seeing when and where the power of money positions are getting in is like finding a gold mine. Seeing gaps clearly in how they are creating trends, changing trends, and making momentum is a powerful way to trade. You can use this information to enter trades yourself so you can get paid along with the power of money moves. And again, once you understand what to do, it's so much easier, you know, then it's not so stressful. And again, if you get something and it works, it works. And if you don't see anything, then you don't trade that day. And if you take a stop, you can look for one more trade. Again, you shouldn't have that many stops. The whole point is to get good enough that you can be able to figure it out beforehand. Again, I'm not predicting what Apple's going to do tonight in the earnings. I have no idea. But once I see it, I'm going to know if I'm going to want to play it, not play it, or go long or short it. Okay? It's either do nothing, go long, or short it. I don't know if you've ever heard of this term. This is a great term. It's called leveling up. This applies to everything in our life, not just trading. Too many people trade on the fly. I mean, like most people, this is what they do. They trade on the fly. If the market's falling, they short. If it's rallying, they go long. They could have a horrible entry, bad timing. And today is a very rare day in the market. Why? The market is actually power trending today. It's selling off power trending down. That's rare. And, and all the days of the market, of the 365 days of the year and 200 plus trading days of the year, it's so rare that most stocks do not power trend on most days, including the market. So again, people are shorting today and making money easily. But it's rare that the market would power trend. And it's rare that any stock would power trend. You cannot trade on the fly. You want to get good. Getting good is the only way you will ever make money. Again, it's about consistently. It's consistency. It's not about doing something just from dumb luck or waiting for a power trend day. You only get conviction if you get good. Otherwise, you have no conviction. And again, when I was talking about it, it's very, very important to have conviction. Repeat the NVIDIA train. The NVIDIA day trade? That was like a couple slides ago. The NVIDIA trade we did here? Lai is asking about the NVIDIA trade, this one? We did this on October 8th. We went long. Stock closed here, gapped up. We went long, boom, got in, got out. I don't know if that was your question or if this was a straight. We did a, we did an option in it too. That was a call too. We've been long Nvidia. I'm not in it right now. I'm not in it in any in any way right now. We're playing earnings right now. It's earning season, and that's what we're focused on. Any other questions? Anyways, this idea of leveling up means you're pushing yourself up to the next level. And sometimes that takes money and hard work and time, okay? Or you're never gonna get to the next level. You know, you see, we're talking about this, it's football season, I'm not a big football person, but I know it's football season. It, you know, how do you get to the point where you're as good as some of these athletes are? They push it, they push it, they push it, they push it, okay? They push themselves to get to the next level to get good. The competition is fierce. The competition is fierce in the market for the money that you want to make. And if you're not on the right side of it, you're not going to make it. Most people lose in the market that are day traders, active retail traders. It will always be that way from the, to the beginning to the end of time, okay? Because people don't want to learn and they also are not focused on one thing. They're doing a million different things and then they never get good at one thing. I mean, I can't say that I was lucky, but I, like, I, I was smart enough to know that when I first started trading that it really was about getting one trade a day and focusing on one thing in order to get good. So then I, I didn't know what I was doing when I first started trading and I played a gap and a short and I made a lot of money, but I knew there was something to gaps and I knew there was something to shorts 
And I like the speed of execution and the move of the shorts happening fast. But I did know and I was intelligent enough to recognize that focusing on one thing and getting good at it was the key. Because I saw a lot of other people that I knew and a lot of other traders that I knew failing all the time and then jumping around from the next quick get rich thing and the best thing, this thing, that thing, futures, Bitcoin, all over the place. If you don't focus on one thing and get good at it, you're never going to really, you're never going to make $3 million a year or $2 million a year. You're not going to make a hundred grand a year. Okay. And again, it's a function of how much you risk, what you make. But to get an 80% win ratio, to have these, this type of track record, again, as long as I'm trading, that is about the system, implementing it, and then the consistency to it. So again, the system tells you how, what, and when. How do you make money in the market? Trade a strategy in a system that is profitable. Golden gaps are a highly profitable strategy because they focus on large momentum to trade. What stock should you trade? Stocks that gap and rate 20 points or more per the Golden Gap 26 point rating system. So this is what you come and learn in the class, okay? Train the gap in the direction of the gap, always. Never going against it. And if I read it, like if I would have seen Microsoft was gonna be along today, I wouldn't have done it. I wouldn't have gone along it, I wouldn't have done it, okay? When do you trade them? Early in the morning in the open when they set up and trigger again, we're in trades quick. And again, the nice thing about doing the options is I can let it ride. I'm in it early and I can let it ride. Okay, we did the Microsofts out till next Friday. But I mean, actually, you could have done the Microsoft that expired tomorrow. I didn't, but you could have. You must have a structure in place in order to make any money at all consistently. And it is about the consistency that many traders lack in their system. So again, how do I know ahead of time when a stock, where a stock is going to go? I rate it. This is not something that you can't learn. You can learn it. You can learn it and you do it yourself. Why? Because I'm not going to do this forever. I'm not going to teach like this forever. This is something that I'm doing right now. And I'm running the room right now, but you do have to learn it because you want to be able to do it yourself when I'm not doing this anymore. You, you have to think about how are you going to make a living doing this? How are you going to even make part-time income doing this? And how much time are you going to spend attempting to trade and become successful and then never getting there? You know what I mean? I, I think I've had, the, uh, you know, so many people that have been following me since I started the business that still have not done the class. They've taken probably like a hundred classes that total probably 35 times what my class cost and then took bad trades and losses with bad systems and they should have signed up for my class 10 years ago, five years ago. Don't miss this opportunity. There are people that are signed up for the class in November, which is the next class. It's November 16th and 17th. They've already made money. I told you what we did today. I told you what we did yesterday. This checklist tells me what to trade and what to look for every day. So again, it's the rating system, a 26 point checklist. It measures gaps or rating them on the daily chart to find stocks to trade that have, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day, hopefully. I wanted to go all day. Number two, a big move in the day. Microsoft is a good example. AMD is a good example yesterday. Early confirmation of the bias and the move between 9.30 and 10. Again, I want to get in and out quick precise entries with follow through on a good risk to reward target potential, which I, I figure one to one. 50% to 100% is good in an option. I'm trying to make one to one in a day trade. Then you will organize yourself, write it down, get a notebook, put a plan of action in place. How much money do you want to risk per trade? How many trades do you want to do a day? How many do you want to do a week? Do you just want to follow what I do? Do you want to do day trades? Do you want to do options? These are things like, what's your goal? Even if you can't risk $3,500 a trade or $8,000 in an option, what can you risk now? You say, okay, I'm going to do this until January 1. Then in January 1, I'm going to up it. You know what I'm saying? So put a plan of action in place. Number one, trade only golden gaps or rate according to the 26-point rating system so that you have a high success rate in your directional bias. Two, get the best entry you can with precision early in the morning to get good risk to reward trades, one to three is my goal and create a money management plan for yourself to achieve your goal of becoming a professional trader and achieving your goal of working for yourself if in fact that's what you want to do um this was this is boeing here this showed the earnings from last week but bottom line is earning earning season is now that's what microsoft was to play today apples tonight it's a great time to trade and there's lots of opportunities. This is me, I actually taught a live class. I don't have another live class scheduled for the future, but I did a live class in September in New York. People came, they met me, and I support people every day in the room. The class that I teach in November is online. The class I teach once a month is online. 
And trust me when I say you are closer to realizing your dreams than you think. It's right here if you want to learn it. This is real and you can do it. And I think one of the best things about uh, the live class that I did in September is people got to meet me face to face, got to come to New York, and then met other people too. And again, so many times people are doing this and they're through a computer screen and even when they're trading, it's not, this is not a computer game. This is real. You're risking your money when you trade. And if you're trading on a demo for weeks and months and years, you're not getting anywhere with that either. And even if you think you have a system that works on a demo, if you're showing fake profits, it's not. If you're not really making money and you're not really doing it and it's still a waste of time. No one should be on a demo for, for more than 30 days, in my opinion, even after the class if they want to practice. But you want to be practical, professional, and again, if you come and take my class, you will learn the rating system, empower yourself today to do it. It is a complete system to train. You learn the entries, the exits, the targets, the 26 points. You learn it all, and then you'll be in the room every day. And if you want to join now, you can start training with us now, and then you would do the class in November. The class is called the Golden Gap Course. It's a full course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks at our professional bearish gaps. Class is online. You can be anywhere and take it. Again, it's online. So the class for November is only two more classes this year. November 16th and 17th, 9 to 5. Cost of the class is $69.99. That's seven grand. And I'm doing a New York City Marathon package through Sunday. It's a New York City Marathon. It's one of the things I'm going to go out this afternoon and look around. Everything's set up. Thousands of people are here. It's a really fun time to be in New York City, and it's absolutely gorgeous out. I'm doing a marathon special, which gets you three classes and three subscriptions. For $89.99, you do the Golden Gap course in November, the Trends course in November, and the Options class in December. All of the classes are online, and then you would also get the Trading Room newsletter and the Mark Report subscription through the end of 2025. And that is for one price, a package going on through Sunday, the marathon package, which is $8,999. You must email me for the forms if you want to sign up. If you sign up today, you can get tomorrow's trade, tomorrow's Friday. And again, this, the special ends on Sunday, but you can get in and trade with us tomorrow. I don't know if we're going to do Apple or something else, but I know that I'm going to be watching Apple tonight. Any questions from anyone? I'd encourage you actually to go to my YouTube. I did a little Halloween uh tour last night i have videos of these houses decorated for halloween that i put on my youtube last night they're insane and my instagram i did it with uh, music they're the, the, we're going out tonight too i like the, the, the people really went all out in new york it's just that like it's they're so fun so go to my youtube and you can watch the halloween videos or my instagram and you can look at the halloween videos uh besides the trading things uh, do, 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 Somebody has a question here. Everyone learns at different levels. That's true. That's true. I'm, I'm talking specifically, Steve, of people that have taken my class, though. If you took my class, if you take my class in November, okay, you've been training for over 30 years, okay, well, that's good. But if you, if you take my class in November and you want to be on a demo till after the holidays, that's fine. But you're going to miss being able to make money. The demo is for you to be able to practice the execution. When you learn the system, which you will in the two-day class, you, that's, you learn it. The, there's, the reason to be in a demo is so you don't go long when you mean to short. You're practicing pressing the buttons. There's no reason to practice that for more than 30 days after you take my class, in my opinion. And you will miss opportunity. You wouldn't have gotten the trade today in Microsoft. Yeah, if you trade in Microsoft in a demo, you don't have the money, and you could have made thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. you got to get off the demo and start trading live. And I'm even saying 30 days, and to me, there's no reason even people need 30 days. If you're on a demo, Steve, and you're trading for 30 years, and you've spent 30 years focused on trading, and you haven't made any money, I don't know what to tell you, Steve. 30 years trading on a demo? Are you serious though, Steve? Or are you just telling me that? Like, are you serious? 30 years is a lifetime, Steve. You could have been married three to three different people and had all kinds of babies and grandkids. If you make $5,000 a week, then you're not on a demo. So I'm confused. Either you're on a demo or you're not on a demo. I, I, I don't get what you're saying. You know, you, everybody learns at a different pace, that's true. But I'm definitely here to help people. And if you're on a demo too long, you're missing the opportunities to trade. 
feeling the money, the exhilaration, the excitement, making the money, that's what helps keep you motivated and keeps you going on. Anyways, I'm done with my time. Happy Halloween, everyone. Go to my YouTube and Instagram. Look at some Halloween videos.